All right, Namafila just released Rise, uh, an official music video. Even though they had just gave us a full album, they've already got a new single out for us. They're spoiling us. Anyway, let's check it out. This just dropped three hours ago, which I wanted to get up to see, but I didn't. Anyway, <laughs> let's do this. Whoa, some chopping effect on the There's okay. Since there's captions, I'm gonna start this over. But I just want to say, dang, that riff underneath the screaming intro was so slamming. Oh. Tam's got a new drum kit. transition back to the that riff okay so i'm wondering it, okay it's probably the same drum kit because it's got the same design it just looked like what usually looks white is a little yellower now but it might just be the way the video was colored and stuff <clears throat> anyway what a banger so far the lyrics are really interesting calling out some bs <laughs> and then also having this resolution, it's time to live your life. I really like that, the lyrics so far. And dang, those riffs hit hard. Right here. Yeah. 
Whoa. Cool. Did the whole painting while they were filming the music video. That's really cool. <laughs> you know what? One of the New Year's, I think it was 2014 or something, me and Rosie did the same thing. When we did a cover, she did a painting while I was making a cover. Oh, it's a really old video. It was like the New Year um, by Death Cab for Cutie cover. Anyway, it just reminded me of that. That's a really cool concept and really cool to see this finished product at the end. But the music, Murata Tamu's haircut is really cute. Love that. Um, but... I, once those guitar solos hit, it's so much, there's just so much happening in this music video, like vocally, musically, and visually, but I just, I gotta go back to the guitar solos and hear that part again. Uh, where, okay, here we go. Is there like a total chord change up there when Saki starts? It almost sounds like a completely different tone again from what Hazuki was doing. By the way, I just checked out some other some of Hazuki's other work uh, with Lisa X, um, the Kawaii band. There was some live footage from one of their shows. I reacted to that over on Patreon. But I was surprised how subdued she is when she plays with Lisa X because we know she's got insane chops, but. She, like, shows respect for Lisa X. She's happy to play the humble rhythm guitar role, which is just so cool to see from someone who has insane guitar chops. Just that the support of a younger generation of music. It's really cool. Anyway. Oh, that one sweep line she does in there? Right in the middle of a ton of shredding, too. <laughs> that was epic. Such a difficult transition. Then it comes down into the soft dynamic. It's really satisfying. Again, I love it when songs have the peaks and valleys of dynamic. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention earlier, like second verse, I saw some like uh, some similarities to the message from Adabana, you know, about like not worrying about what other people are thinking of you, just being yourself. I can't remember what the actual line was in here. But I love that they put that message into their song, you know? What introspective and kind of uh, not letting others' opinions get to you, you know? Wow. Self-evaluation? Maya's voice sounds amazing in this song, too. I am very curious how she's going to do this live. I wonder if... She, did she do this live in San Francisco? Um, I'm curious because there's a lot of layering screams over vocals and then, like, you know, crossovers and stuff. So that'll be interesting. Speaking of which, I saw this really funny live clip of Haraguchi-san. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it already, but I'm going to pull it up at the end of this video just because... Um, she had a, a bit of a stage incident, but her recovery was really awesome, professional. Anyway, I'm just going to finish the song again for <laughs> It's 
Dang. Who's this painter? I wonder if... Uh... But that's really awesome. Like, Namafila showing support for an artist like that. Uh, featuring his art in one of their videos. I wonder if it's somewhere in this Japanese who the artist is. If anyone knows, let me know. Um, but that's just a really cool feature in their video. Okay, I think that's just about it. So <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to go find that video. And okay, here it is. It's over on Twitter. <laughs> Haraguchi san, rocking out in San Francisco. Thank you, Crazy Mike, for posting this on Twitter. But <laughs> just check this out. <laughs> what if I could zoom in? <laughs> she just totally owns it, dude. It's awesome. Oh, whoops. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> she just like didn't miss a beat. I was a little shocked, but she just got her footing again, owned it, and then, like, went with it, you know? That's such an impressive trait for entertainers to have, is when they do something that could potentially be embarrassing and could stress them out, just owning it, making fun of themselves, and moving on. Like, that's awesome. Let's see that one more time. <laughs> she just said... <laughs> And then she just got back up like a total rock star. Anyway, just had to share that in case people haven't seen that yet. Thought you might appreciate it. All right. Well, thanks for watching this. Uh, and that's where I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you, Namafila, for another great song. And I'll talk to you all next time.